Researchers are figuring out why some people can hear the voices of the dead. We're talking about uh, another reality, another level of uh, existence. Scientists identified the traits that make may make a person more likely to claim they hear the voices of the dead. According to research published earlier this year, a predisposition to high levels of absorption in tasks, unusual auditory experiences in childhood, and a uh, high susceptibility to auditory hallucinations all occur more strongly in self-described clairaudient mediums than the general population. The finding could help us to better understand the upsetting auditory hallucinations that accompany mental illness such as schizophrenia, the researcher said. The spiritualist experiences of clairvoyance and clairaudience, the experience of seeing or hearing something in the absence of an external stimulus and attributed to the spirits of the dead is of great scientific interest, both for anthropologists studying religious and spiritual experiences and scientists studying pathological hallucinatory experiences. In particular, researchers would like to better understand why some people with auditory experiences report a spiritualist experience while others find them more distressing and receive a mental health diagnosis. Spiritualists tend to report unusual auditory experiences which are positive, start early in life, and which are often then able to control, explained psychologist Peter Mosley of Northumbria University in the UK when the study first came out. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Understanding how these develop is important because it could help us understand more about distressing or non-controllable experience of hearing voices too. He and his colleagues, psychologist Adam Powell of Durham University in the UK, recruited and surveyed 65 clear audit mediums from the UK Spiritualist National Union and 143 members of the general population recruited through social media to determine what differentiated spiritualists from general public who don't usually report hearing the voices of the dead. Overall, 44.6% of the spiritualists reported hearing voices daily and 79% said the experiences were part of their daily lives. And while most reported hearing the voices inside their head, 31.7% reported that the voices were external as well. The results of the survey were striking. Compared to the general population, the spiritualists reported much higher belief in the paranormal and were less likely to care what other people thought of them. The spiritualists on the whole had their first auditory experience young at an average age of 21.7 years old and reported a high level of absorption. That's a term that describes total immersion in mental tasks and activities or altered states and how effective the individual is at tuning out the world around them. In addition, they reported that there, they were more prone to hallucination-like experiences. The researchers noted that they had not usually heard of spiritualism prior to their experiences. Rather, they had come across it while looking for answers. In the general population, high levels of absorption were also strongly correlated with belief in the paranormal, but little or no susceptibility to auditory hallucinations. And in both groups, there were no differences in the levels of belief in the paranormal and susceptibility to visual hallucinations. These results, the researchers said, suggest that experiencing the voices of the dead, quote unquote, is therefore unlikely to be a result of peer pressure, a positive social context, or suggestibility due to belief in the paranormal. Instead, these individuals adopt spiritualism because it aligns with their experience and is personally meaningful to them. Powell said when the study was published, our findings say a lot about learning and yearning. For our participants, the tenets of spiritualism seem to make sense of both extraordinary childhood experiences 
as well as the frequent auditory phenomena they experience as practicing mediums. But all of those experiences may result more from having certain tendencies or early abilities than from simply believing in the possibility of contacting the dead if one tries hard enough. Future research, they concluded, should explore a variety of cultural contexts for better understanding the relationship between absorption belief and the strange spiritual experiences of ghosts whispering in one's ear. One's ear. This research was published in Mental Health, Religion and Culture, first published January 2021, and it's on Science Alert. Unfortunately, uh, these findings and these uh, research, this research was not done on spiritual, was not done on uh, religious monastics, uh, monks, nuns, priests. Uh, we know that uh, even in the Old Testament, there were uh, prophets that, uh, sp of course, spoke to God. God spoke to them. And also those who were called seers. They were called seers. They could see past, present, and future and predict what would be happening. So um, this is something, of course, that uh, has to do with um, the heavenly realms. Now, usually when you see something from what our priests tell us in the Christian Orthodox religion, when you have an experience, it's usually at the time of prayer. Uh, that's when we see, for example, um, Saint, one example that comes immediately to mind is um, Nathaniel when he was praying. And uh, when Jesus later met him, he said, I heard you, I saw you when you were under the tree praying. Uh, so obviously God hears us when we're praying. We're not alone. So another, time, another experience is when the Virgin Mary was praying and the Archangel Gabriel came to announce to her that she would be the mother of God. So a lot of the instances of having experiences are when you pray. Now, uh, we also have experiences, unfortunately, when we're having a nightmare, when we're sleeping or something. Sometimes we're, we're grateful it's not real when we wake up. <laughs> Thank goodness. But uh, they don't go here. They don't go into the experiences of um, uh, seeing angels or, seeing, or talking to saints. Okay. Now, um, they are alive, as our Lord Jesus Christ said, you know, I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, they're not dead, they're alive. And um, sometimes uh, we are uh, given a message through something, a whisper or some type of, a, too, mu too much of a coincidence. And this... Uh, Findings, these researchers did not go into any type of that type of a, of a, of a, of a realm, unfortunately. But I'll try and find um, articles on that because this is very interesting. We do have the realm of the angelic beings, the um, bodiless powers. And um, it's very important that we know this because it has to do with our place in... Um, God's salvation plan. Now, when you have an experience like this, when you have a feeling of love and peace and joy, usually that uh, type of an experience, of course, is from God. When it's the opposite, when you have fear and trembling, of course, it's the evil one. So please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you.